guys. <laughs> I don't even know how I feel. I think I've forgotten how to film a video. <laughs> I think I've forgotten how to film a video. Oh my god! I just called my friend because I needed somebody to ginger me. <sighs> Let me put myself together. I'm finally filming. I can't believe it. Oh my god. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Oh my god, I missed filming so much. I was filming a couple of times during the year. That's my vlogs, but then none of them ever made it, obviously. How have you guys been doing? I've missed you guys so much. Like, I have seen you people's messages. First of all, before I even start this video, I don't have any scripts. I didn't plan it because I have been procrastinating. But today, I literally just stood up and said, okay, it is time to film because I posted something about it. I wanted to be accountable here. Yeah. I haven't posted ever since December. Was it December? Either December or November 2023. 2020. 20, 20. 2022 so i didn't post throughout last year this year basically because today is the last day of the year but you guys have seen it so i didn't post throughout last year which is crazy to me I put up a post telling people to please ask me questions i just wanted to be accountable honestly i just wanted to know that oh i have put something out there so i have to post I kept on resisting the urge to post something about oh i'm coming back because i knew that so i made sure to look for a time that i know that I would most likely have time to film this video. Before I start answering the questions, because I have a whole lot of questions, oh my god. The questions are plenty. The questions are a lot. So the I have so many questions. So many questions. Um, so it, I don't know if I'm going to be able to answer all of them. There are a lot of questions that were repeated. So I'll try and skip those ones. But then before I start answering the questions, I think I should just I think I should just like give a backstory as to how we got here in the first place. So already last year, I'm sure you guys noticed I was less consistent. There was a point I was very consistent, then I became less consistent. You guys know that I opened my first store september of was it september september of last of i keep i need to stop saying last year because last year i wasn't here september of 2022 i opened my first store and i think that was where my inconsistency started because i didn't expect the growth that i experienced like in opening a store was quite it kind of skyrocketed so um i didn't expect that so i became more busy i became busy sha but I was still trying to put out some videos very inconsistently. <laughs> Fast forward to January. January, my business kind of had like a big break. Yeah, kind of a big break. It was just a viral moment that kind of changed a lot for me. It changed a whole lot. And I was like, okay, I'm going to take January, um, I'm going to take January off and when I have time or oh, I will be putting out content like I'll come back February obviously that was what I thought and I came by and then business was going well at this point my assistant had to go back to school so I was alone so the viral moment that happened happened and I was alone <laughs> like I didn't have any other help it was crazy for me and then I had like my big big restock that was my biggest restock at that time in february so at that point i felt like i was breaking down literally because i was working like 24 7 um so i decided to hire that was successful i successfully had four more staff and we started working together then my assistant came back so at that point work was stressful but then now i'm dealing with school so i started my project in march yeah my project to graduate thesis whatever you call it I started my project in March and that was very stressful like because there was always one thing that was hindering another thing it was so crazy April, May, May I was still doing business things I let one staff go for stealing at that point um, I had to let one staff go everything was just happening it was just business 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 and I was I was stressed because like the business was it kept going <laughs> It kept going. I thank God. Like I can't even come here and be ungrateful. I thank God for um, 
it was stressful it was really stressful so at, at this point honestly like i was vlogging a couple of things that were happening in my life um yeah you guys should also let me know if i should post the vlogs like that because i have very random like it does there's no storyline it's just random times in my life <laughs> last year so um may came by i was doing my project and everything and also doing business too i let one staff go i mentioned that earlier and okay yeah <laughs> in may i also like bought myself my first big girl gift <laughs> i bought myself a car guys like now that i'm saying it it's also big but yeah but yeah i bought myself a car it was just like necessary at this point because i have spent one year in lagos you guys the number of trips you know that i there's a way you can check how many trips that you've had or i think the, it pops up on your screen or something like that like, i can't saw that as of january to me i had already done over 300 trips on boats that was only boats i think no, i don't use just boats i have like other apps that i used to use i had uber i had um, rider there was in drive all those ones so just boats because that was the one i that's the one i used the most from january to me i had over 300 trips it was crazy to me i was just like no i can't keep doing this and uber is very expensive in lagos it's very very it's very expensive in lagos and there was a time that prices like skyrocketed that was during that whole um cash thing at that period so it was just crazy to me in a week the amount i was spending on uber was just ridiculous i was like no <laughs> I actually have to do something about it so god blessed me and i bought myself a car <laughs> that was also like my graduation gift to myself honestly then june came by what happened in june a lot of small small things happened but i'm just trying to like give you guys like major stories yeah or major things that made me not to be consistent june came by and it, it went by to Okay, June I moved from where I was before you guys know that I was obviously this is not the space I was before <laughs> I moved from that space to another space um, because that was too small for me it was get it was too small for me um, I had outgrown that space I almost didn't even move because the rent in Lagos now is not child's play come on <laughs> oh my god guys these are ghostly spaces anyway june came by i moved out of my space and i moved to a new space which i love i'm obsessed with and even though i would have to be here soon so life is crazy but we bless god <laughs> i might i'm not saying i will please yeah. july came i graduated praise god i didn't go back to china for those of you asking no i didn't go back to china i tried to go back to china but then I couldn't go back to China because they said that I had only like two more months to graduate, so they can't give me visa. Blah blah blah. So I was like, okay, no problem. <laughs> yeah. So July I graduated, and then in July after my graduation, I was doing a lot of like taking a lot of big moves business wise. Um, I was I was doing business in Sha. This was moving. It was going great. And then August, I decided to start another business. So this business that I started, I had already created a page for it, like, cause it was part of like my New Year's resolution last year to start this business. So on, I think on New Year's Day even, I created an Instagram page for it. I prayed about the business and did everything. And I kind of started, but I told you guys that in January, my main business like had a blow. So I've been had like a big break so i couldn't <laughs> i just couldn't like continue with that new business but then i still had it in mind so in was it july or august it was july it was july so in july i had saved some money and because the business was very 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 capital intensive guys like <laughs> if you want to start well at least at least you can start with smaller oh, God, <laughs> yeah <laughs> I started that new business and when I started that new business I I wouldn't say honestly I didn't I won't say I didn't expect that traction but I didn't really expect it so let me break it down when I was coming now that um I have knowledge about business I know that any new business that I want to start one thing I'm going to make sure I have is funds like because it's one thing to have the idea and all the products but 
the i feel like one of the most important things in business is your marketing like your marketing is, 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 is literally the business and of course like um, deliver what you're selling if it's product let it be quality if it's service let it be top notch yeah. so i i went into that business with marketing money <laughs> i was prepared so i put a lot of money into like my promotion my marketing i paid influencers i paid for billboards i was doing instagram ads high budget instagram ads. i was doing everything so the business it took off like it took off like i expected it but i didn't really expect it i wasn't ready i think i was just um experimenting my marketing skills like bro the business got so big i got uh, not so big i'm not exaggerating but like more than i expected that's when you hear me say so big i mean more than i expected i had to open a physical store for it i opened a physical store in the space of one month like i think this one was even good too because I, because everything was easy okay that was so easy but kind of easy because like the the business was selling, the things were selling, the things we were moving, so I could like pay rent for the store, I could pay rent for the store, I could pay for like my shelves and everything that I needed at that point. Like I could afford to pay for it, so everything was fast in 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 like a month, in like three weeks. Yeah, if my store was up, everything was up. I praise God, I thank God, I'm so grateful to God because right now that business and my big business at least three years are almost making like doing the same numbers a month so it just shows you that like i kind of like carried my knowledge of everything that i learned in three years of doing my other business to this new business and i think the number of followers that i got to in like two years for my other business i'm right i'm there right now in this business that is six months so it's crazy and the numbers we're doing now with this business in my other business like in, in, it took us like two years to to get to that amount monthly so um obviously it's different because i came with like some funds that one i didn't start really i literally started from the bottom so it makes sense like right now but yeah so i started that business too i didn't expect it to go as well as it was going i started restocking like my restock level increase i praise god so now we're dealing with two businesses that are doing very very well <laughs> again two entirely okay they're only two entirely different fields if you're wondering what field i am i'm in the beauty field all my businesses are in the beauty world beauty Sha. beauty is hair makeup cosmetics nails what else yeah lashes well, anything that is like that, Sha, is beauty. So my, my businesses, all my businesses are in the beauty industry. Yeah. So um, so these are two completely different businesses that I'm having to give my attention to. I'm dealing with staff, <laughs> guys. I feel like people just shout the CEO, CEO team. But if you know the responsibility that comes with this CEO thing, that's what I'm shouting. Like, the people that are actually going through the CEO life, I promise you they are not shouting CEO. I, I promise you that they are not. I promise you because they literally do not even have time to be shouting CEO. It's crazy. Like, I would have, like, so many breakdowns, but in everything, like, God was just so good, honestly. And I have, like, the best assistants in the world guys like sometimes i just used to say sit down and think like what, what would i actually do without this girl hmm. i don't know what i would do we've been working for over three years now we're working together for over three years now so this this, this is my person <laughs> this is my person i opened like a store in another city too um she has moved there to live there to be the manager of my business there for me while well, i'm in lagos i can't leave the ones here so this is how me and this person are um so yeah that's just i'm just giving you guys backstory of everything that's happened um october was my birthday nothing happened honestly i was at home november to that's basically it like that's that's everything that has been happening in my business hallelujah so yeah life has been good like life has been great it has been okay so you guys can see that all i have been is busy there's no <laughs> nothing dramatic 
like i have people that will say sarah I, did you get married did you get pregnant did you go back to china nothing dramatic happened in my life guys it's just business honestly just business just business so now i know that i've been talking for so long i hope i've explained myself self to you guys thank you guys please bear with me i still love you guys it's not because i don't love you guys that i haven't been posting do you know, i wasn't even meant to film today because i was just like oh my hair is old my nails are all broken because yesterday my nails just like breaking but i was like no i have to i have to so i'm scrolling now still scrolling so start answering you post questions so i have a lot of questions that are how can i start a shoe business how can i start a hair business how can i start it guys <laughs> i can't just sit down here and start telling people oh this is how to do it because i have some videos even though i feel like those videos are kind of outdated because i made them in like 2020 yeah so i feel like i've changed so much with my business approach right now so i've seen a lot of people asking for business related videos i am going to that is something that i am actively going to work towards like filming this year if there are like specific topics you guys want to hear me talk about please like comment them below and let me know what other content you guys want to see i will be vlogging too i'll be trying to vlog as much as i can um yeah so let me answer the other questions did you go back to china no i didn't um somebody says hi sarah where have you been i just explained it i have been working my ass off guys how can one start a thrift business like importing thrift from china first of all get a supplier and get a shipping company and you're good yeah get a supplier buy from your supplier get the supplier sends it to your shipping company and you start the business so if you if your question is how can i get suppliers eh, that's a different one i have a video on that i think i need to go and watch those videos so i'll know if like i can still <laughs> ever recommend you guys doing the things i said in that video or if i have found like a better and cheaper and faster alternative because i don't even remember what i said in those videos <laughs> how are you i missed your content i am good actually i'm i'm very well thank you i had a good year i won't come and lie and say i didn't have a good year most of it was good um a couple of bad things happened this year but i feel like it's normal okay like in june i lost one of my closest friends and i hadn't seen her in like so long we were supposed to even meet one of these days and i be one of those days and then she unfortunately passed away so that was one of the one of the worst things that happened to me this year honestly i'm going to be honest losing that person yeah um yeah where have you been <laughs> finally finally how has life been i wouldn't call names i don't even know if i'll post this because there are so many I, i'm just going to be picking randomly and reading because i'm going to be skipping the ones that are like where have you been how are you because i feel like i've answered those questions so how has life been since moving to lagos and um, lagos has been <laughs> i think i need to make like a separate video on like my crazy experiences in this city lagos has been <laughs> yeah you guys know it has been like a year since i moved to lagos i haven't come with an update for you guys but this city has been crazy like i've had some crazy experiences like on Christmas Day, I was literally dealing with a police case because my cleaner stole my perfumes. She stole like 18 of my perfumes, guys. And you guys know my perfume. You guys know how I love perfumes. These are niche perfumes. Like the total of this thing was like three. Um, I'm not playing. It was crazy. So I've I've just come to understand that everybody in this city is a hunter. Everybody in Lagos is a hunter. That's that's what i've come to understand <laughs> so yeah i've had some crazy experiences i got my phone stolen from me this one was not even like they stole it from me or they picked it no it was me that carried my hand and he took my iphone was in for max <laughs> um but i got it back i involved the police all of that i, I have to tell this story times for you guys but um yeah and then Lagos has just been crazy, but honestly, one thing I'll say about Lagos is that Lagos is the land of opportunities. I got one of my biggest opportunities 
by seeing a celebrity and deciding to reach out and say this is what i do and after that i got a from just reaching out you see celebrities plenty especially when you're in certain areas or when you go to certain areas mm, yeah so and that was literally one of the biggest um contracts is the contract i'll say what business whatever and that that was like a big investment into my business it's not the person wasn't an investor no the person patronized my business yeah so yeah lagos is land of opportunity i feel like lagos battery is blinking so i, I only have one battery because i can't find my other battery guys i have been all over the place when it comes to my youtube equipment i couldn't even find my mic today so i would have to charge this and come back but let me just finish answering this question i feel like lagos is the land that somebody that has nothing like you can start from nothing without knowing anybody no connections anything and even though those things will help i'm not saying run away from no farms if you need to farm so, yeah <laughs> but lagos is a land of opportunities basically so you see somebody that is a million multi-millionaire and you're wondering what do you do to make so much money and you hear that this person is into selling of papers i'm not even playing i know somebody that is like a mil millionaire if not billionaire from selling bios yeah that's what i'm talking about so it just opens your eyes to a lot of things like let me give an instance when i was in abuja there was time i was in abuja there was time i was in kaduna like doing business that's what i mean so when i was in kaduna like when i take my deliveries to gig i would have like 10 deliveries 15 deliveries um and they'll be like they used to see me as their big customers because i'm coming with like 10 packages 50 packages hmm. yeah so same thing happened in abuja every time when i come they'll be like oh you just keep your own like they'll attend to my own later um because my my deliveries are so much yeah <laughs> so that used to happen to me and then i came to lagos guys the first day i went to drop my deliveries at gig i had like 25 because i had just come to lagos i posted and we are now in lagos for my business everybody was excited ordered 20 and that day i had like 25 deliveries yeah like 25 or so i can't remember and I remember I went to GIG with my big basket and I was there like, oh, you, how many orders is this? They're like, you, how many? I was like, I have 25 orders. Like, oh, it's not much. Just keep it. The guy was even like, so why did you carry baskets as if they are much? I was just like, he was like, yes, now. Then he like, he like showed me like, you see another brand, different business. Like people are coming with 200 orders, 150 orders. Like that thing humbled me. Like it humbled me so much, but then like, it will also push you and tell you that there's people doing it like you can do it too do you understand yeah so um i don't if you say love lagos i'm not i don't really like lagos like that if i'm going to be honest <laughs> to live here but i like it too i have a love-hate relationship with this place i love it because like it pushes me like it just shows me that everything that i want to do is achievable and it is possible because you're seeing people literally living your dream do you understand so yeah it's not the one that you're just seeing on instagram no you're seeing this one in real life <laughs> you're seeing this one in real life do you understand yeah so um that's why i love this city um but yeah it's love his relationship with this place i don't think this is i would love to um, raise my children in lagos no i don't think so i feel like i just want to make money in lagos establish my businesses in lagos and when i know that everything is good to go and like there's a working system i'm leaving the city <laughs> i will invest here and all but for me to raise my children start a family Mm -mm. i'm not sure <laughs> i don't think i can live in lagos the two places i have in mind are port harcourt funny enough or abuja yeah those are the two places i have in mind or oh, not nigeria even that would be better for me <laughs> yeah so let's let's charge this and come back hi guys sorry for the break in transmission <laughs> sorry for the break in transmission um so we're just going to continue answering the questions i think the last question that i answered was if i mean how my experience has been since moving to lagos i answered that question lagos is a crazy place but a place with great opportunities honestly so let me start from up this time last time i stayed from the end 
Bro. Oh no, to be fair, honestly, let me just continue. Um life updates where have you been what is your snapchat handle it will be in the description bar below girl i know i'm not your friend but i miss you so bad i miss you more trust me i miss you <laughs> nobody said when are you getting married are you are you playing <laughs> are you joking i don't i don't know what to answer that question i'm still a child i'm just 16. um not a question i just didn't realize how much i enjoyed your content until you stopped posting i missed you so much oh i miss you more guys like even me i don't think i realized how much i love youtube until i stopped posting but honestly the way my life was going i didn't want to come and now be inconsistent even now i'm not promising you guys consistency but i want to say at least one video a month at least one video a month i will do more i most likely will do more it depends on how my schedule goes this year um so i don't want to make any promises that i know i can't keep so i'm just going to keep it at one video a month at least maybe two maybe three maybe five you don't know but yeah at least a video a month give away some of your weeks actually i recently just gave away a whole lot of my weeks i don't even have weeks now <laughs> i'm lying but like i gave away just not online or anything i'm sorry can you do a mentorship class on businesses Um, i used to do those before but then i stopped because i felt like i honestly can give more there's way more information that i can give there are way better tips that i am um, and things that i know now that i can give and i think the the mindset that has been stopping me from um going ahead with my class is that i want everything to be perfect everything to be mm -mm -mm. honestly like i think i would just go for it that's one of my goals for this year to bring back my classes because i feel like i feel like i this year i read quite a number of books and i took a few courses too so i feel like i'm highly equipped <laughs> you can never be perfect or you can never have the much knowledge so yeah i feel like i would keep doing them and the more knowledge i acquire the more i share um, so yeah i am most likely we're going to have the classes next year and i will post about it on my instagram page so make sure you follow me on instagram so you know when i post about it you have been such an inspiration please come back with more business videos thank you so much and yes that is something that we're looking into please you guys should also let me know the kind of content you want to see this year because <laughs> i really want to try i want to try i may take my youtube seriously like i don't even want to be making pr promises because it's crazy how much time i had for youtube at a point in my life and now it's just what made you go into your business niche um Obviously, I'm in the beauty industry, or I was in the beauty industry. I think every, basically everything that I've done in my life, hair, makeup, uh, mm, all those things are beauty related. So somehow, I'm just always around this beauty industry. My first business was honestly a mistake. Um, not a mistake, but like I bought some stuff to use. Um, and i realized that i couldn't use all of them i got too much and that's because the mooks were high but it was cheap so i didn't even know it was long story short um i couldn't jesus i actually need to relocate from this country as soon as possible because what's all this nonsense <laughs> anyway sorry for the breaking transmission what was i talking about even Good. I think it was asking me if um what made me go into my business niche. Yeah, so I bought the stuff and I couldn't um use them or for what I wanted to use them for and I was just so sad. I was like, Oh, I invested so much money. Honestly it wasn't so much money, but at that time to me it was so much money. So I had invested so much money in this thing and I can't even use it, I can't sell it, blah blah, blah. and then and then at that time my boyfriend told me to he was like oh like try and post it on instagram i posted it on instagram nothing happened i was like see i posted it nothing happened he was like try and run instagram ads and then he helped me with the instagram ads and in like 48 hours slightly over 24 or 24 hours was it 24 hours I mean, was it my black friday that was it over 24 i don't even remember 
oh my god yeah but let me say like in 24 48 hours everything was sold out and it was like mind-blowing because i had made like literally like times three what i invested in that business i was just like this can be my business and you know like i was getting because my my stock were sold out but at that time the instagram ad was still running i didn't know how to put it off so people were still asking so i just told them oh in the next two weeks it's going to arrive because i used air cargo that time and that was how everything that was how i started the business and i think like i fell in love with my businesses all my businesses i think i'm i genuinely enjoy running my businesses so that was that's what has kept me going and i always want to do more i always want to be the best in my businesses um not the best but like do my best yeah but if i'm the best first god <laughs> yeah how can i promote my business using social media i feel like you just said it promote your business using social media i don't know what's what's that question how can i promote my business by posting it on social media running ads instagram facebook any ads um making sure that the right people see your stuff posting the right way taking nice pictures um selling selling the service to people not the products like serving um selling rather if you're selling um lip gloss for example don't just sell oh i sell lip gloss this lip gloss is really cheap it's really nice no tell them why they need lip gloss what does it do to their lips how does it make them feel how does it make them look yeah i don't know how to explain it but i hope you guys understand yeah <laughs> um new house store you guys know you probably not getting that one from me <laughs> that one all the places I've, even when i renovated my room i didn't even give you a room tour so unfortunately when i buy my mansion maybe i'll show you guys when the house is my own mm. And I'm doing it the way I want to do it. Yeah. How to start a small business in Nigeria with 50k? Um, to be very honest, right now, I'm not even going to lie to you and come and tell you. Um, uh, this, honestly, there's not much you can do with 50,000 naira right now in Nigeria because of the current exchange rate. Um, I just bought um, RMB at the rate of 167,000 and 167 naira. Mm. So like. By the time I left China, RMB was 52 naira. Right now, it's 167. So, 50k isn't even up to 500 RMB. <laughs> yeah. So, there isn't much you can start. But there are things you can start. But try and up your budget more. But how to start a small business? I can't really tell you how to start. What business do you want to start? 50k boy two years ago like ah you can start many things i would list out things that you can start but right now man <laughs> that's hard not a question i missed you youtube video please i can't wait to see you i love you guys so much like i have people that would like there's this lady that used to send me prayers like every single day every single day every single day <sighs> people are so sweet like i can't even say thank you enough so i was like why this important like sometimes i would meet i have met so many people like in random places i was like why aren't you posting i've had like so many sweet experiences i've had an experience at the airport where i had an issue somebody that knew me helped me i had like um a situation of somebody paid for my food because they knew me i was like no you people are actually like the sweetest my battery is flashing again and, and there's no light yeah so and i still have a whole lot of questions that i haven't gone through but then i feel like this video is already very long because i explained myself the first time and then now this but guys like i'm so happy that i have done the hardest part which was filming this video i've gotten it out of the way so i'm so happy i'm so happy i'm not going to refilm it whether i look fine or not because i can't see myself my camera is all the way far so i don't know whether i look nice or maybe my lashes are hanging i feel like i'm not going to even look at anything i'm just going to post this video because you guys actually people have tried <laughs> you guys have tried with me so yeah thank you so so much for watching this video if you watched it up until the end if you didn't i'm 
even though i love you regardless for even clicking my video just give me a like subscribe let me know what content you guys want to see i'm so happy to be back i have so many things to buy because i've lost so many of my youtube equipment because i think in the process of my moving normally i'm very specific but i wasn't attentive with this so whatever thank you guys so much for watching this video i'm so happy i'm so i'm genuinely happy that i have filmed this video you don't even know so yeah i want to go out and shop because i want to cook my recipe i saw so i want to recreate it i'm going to vlog that my vlog camera is here if i don't i will use my phone anyone but yeah <laughs> thank you guys so so much for watching this video i appreciate your support and your love and i will see you guys in my next video bye Thank you.